What's going on, everybody? This is the greatest day of my life right here. We have the balances. Finally, man. Finally, finally, finally. We have the balances. Evo Bomber got nerfed. Um, Drill got nerfed. Poison got nerfed. And I'm going to be showing you guys some decks that I think are going to be really good in this meta. Um, and just playing and like testing the new meta in general with, with the decks that I think are going to uh, be in the meta next season so i'm just gonna go graveyard in uh first play i am a little bit under leveled with this deck but that's not the point this deck right here mortar plus i know mortar got a nerf right the evolution mortar got a slight nerf um and the poison got a nerf but this deck right here is actually going to be great in the meta and i'll tell you exactly why um every single person and their mother is probably going to be using giants so <laughs> um basically my thought process is this deck is very good against giant and you know you can easily pressure graveyard poison gets a ton of damage it always will graveyard is going to be very good in this meta i think overall um so yeah that's why i kind of uh, saw this deck saw a couple people using it and was like wow why are they using this deck and i thought about it and it's, it makes a lot of sense um so i'm just gonna go lp pop the ability right away dude i cannot wait till uh the, the uh, development team i'm not complaining the balances are amazing right i'm happy i'm very happy but i cannot wait until the balance team realizes oh we should probably nerf the lp and not let it just pop its ability in the first point one seconds of being live and then this game will be great oh by the way i recorded a video with sk um i know he's about to post it at some point i'm not sure if it's it might be up already by the time i am making this video so i'll, I'll make a community post tab a community tab post wow english on that um if you guys want to go check that out it's a pretty fun like kind of a more like talking style video where we just kind of discussed not not just the game but like the balance changes and stuff so it's a lot of fun uh, make sure you guys go watch that for sure if you want to uh if you want to of course also evo zap got nerfed that's gonna survive wow that's actually crazy that is a big difference in the evo zap um it does like half the damage that it did basically on the second and third strikes a lot of good balances i would say i'm really happy and i'm excited for this new meta and i saw that's aragon as well um said he might be playing some ice bows so that always gets me excited you know i love aragon guys he's like my favorite um favorite expo player to watch so i'm just gonna go lp right here just take out this infernal tower as quick as possible he's gonna fireball that that's fine this guy's playing like a random rg deck with the evo valk i respect the evo valk is gonna be pretty okay as well i'm gonna be showing an evo valk deck um because i like the card it's obviously my favorite evolution besides wizard wizard has to be number one because of how cool it is but uh valk is a close second behind okay wow that's actually a very aggressive rg my good sir i'm just gonna lp over here and then uh, mortar on the left side actually let that rg kind of do its thing snowball it to make sure it only gets one hit hopefully okay it does get a second but mortar should be locked on um okay it's not locked on tower he does zap we're gonna go for a second phoenix he's too low on elixir guys he's split lane pushed and like it's his dagger duchess is out of ammo on both lanes worst feeling ever when you have so much elixir coming down and uh not really much he can do about it so i'm just gonna graveyard on zero here yeah this game's over there's nothing he can do even if he goes valk on top of that egg i can just go ahead and snowball he has minions i think back in cycle but that's not going to save him because the evil mortar is just blasting his tower pause and that's going to be the first game first w you guys see how strong this deck is even against royal giant like i could give up a couple hits and there's absolutely nothing he could do goblins are going to be great as well in this deck because of the void that's going to be in the meta too Okay, this next deck, and no surprise, guys, no surprise. I wanted to show a deck that doesn't have the void in it. Um, we've got the <laughs> the most toxic deck in the game, in my opinion, right now, or just overall. Uh, we got Giant Graveyard with the Bowler specifically because Bowler is so incredibly like oppressive in this meta. Okay, looks like we're going against Pekka, um, so it should be a kind of interesting matchup. I'm gonna have the Barbs for this if he does decide to do anything else with it. It looks like he's just gonna let this die, so I'm actually gonna do something kind of skillful right here. I know you guys are gonna get blown away. Oh, Knight in the back, yep. It's coming, guys, it is coming. Okay, gonna go Graveyard at the bridge with this giant <laughs> i know he has pekka but this still should get like at least a thousand ish damage he's gonna arrows still should get some good damage i want to go minions on zero um to help dps down his pekka that was actually a good defense by him he didn't take much damage as much damage as i thought i am kind of under leveled with this deck i've only got level 14 uh, arrows or not arrows uh, minions and barbarians but it's okay it doesn't really matter i'm excited i wanted to show off the new or like test out the new archers as well even though they do die to arrows um i'm excited to see how much dps they do because man they be cooking i can get a bowler down on zero i think for this battle ram which should just push it away from the tower barely please bowler come on man come on you're always broken against me yes okay perfect nice okay he's gonna get a little bit of damage from that bard but honestly not bad this deck you can take some damage um because obviously you just need a one push to, to win the game i decided to play this deck without void because i feel like um snowball and arrows combine really well in giant graveyard i don't know why but um you know i don't really want to play evo zap either because it's going to retarget the tower onto the graveyard so that's kind of my thought process with this deck i'm going to split the barbs in the back only level 14 which kind of sucks but it doesn't really matter because i haven't pushed up ladder yet these are just going to be uh against i mean like top like 2000 or something so these aren't going to be the hardest matches ever but i'm probably going to go i could go giant graveyard on the right honestly it wouldn't even be a bad play but i'm going to chill and go archers in the back that's going to be a pretty much dead ghost. If those barbs were max level, they would have killed it. No cap, but it's fine. Um, but nah, I've been uh, playing really good today. Okay, uh, also in the global tournament, I'm currently, while I'm recording this video, I'm currently at 
33, uh, what am I at? 33 and one. Yeah, 33 and one on my, one of my mini accounts. So that's kind of insane. I'm not going to lie. I've never been that many wins without, uh, with only one loss, maybe like one time I was like that, but it's been a while. So I'm, I'm pretty excited on how the global tournament is going to finish. Um, hopefully I can find some games. It's really hard to find games since everyone is pretty much out already since it is the last day. But yeah, if you guys do want a video on that, make sure you let me know in the comments, like make sure you, um, leave a comment and a like and say that you want a video on the global tournament because i could post one or i could not it's really up to you guys um if you want to see my games from the gt um pushing up to like the top like winning that many games in a row and hopefully um at least getting top 10 that's my goal you know i at least want to be in the top 10 okay archers are going to die to arrows that is the new interaction like you just saw right there i was trying to get some quick dps on that little prince because you, you would be surprised how fast they melt it um i'm just gonna go barbs hopefully this all dies yeah i'm gonna snowball as well to make sure this lp doesn't uh ruin my life here i should have snowballed it forward thinking about it now but i wanted to hit wanted to make sure i hit everything uh, i'm just gonna go mm, should i graveyard no i'm gonna chill i don't want to throw this game uh, there's no reason to even graveyard here because i can just kind of reset in the back and okay you know what screw it i'm graveyarding i don't have the patience for this <laughs> let's go archer just the bridge i literally just contradicted myself but it doesn't really matter too much yeah i hope everyone's having a good day too i'm in a really great mood today um did like a three hour three hour stream and it was a lot of fun so i'm just gonna go bowler in the back right here um 459 hp how many arrows is that somebody want to do the math for me like four or something maybe three and a half arrows and in the snowball or something but i'm just gonna cycle an arrow right now i just need like one graveyard hit on tower realistically um so let's just get the minions down in the back i'm gonna go ahead that bowler might roll okay wait um don't throw don't throw don't throw don't throw i'm gonna go bowler on the left and then i think we're fine should knock back this battle ram evolution which did get another nerf um not another nerf but it did get a nerf i'm not sure i think the card definitely did not need one but you know i think it's a uh, just my opinion but okay that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a dead battle ram from him he had to waste i mean he didn't waste that battle ram he thought the the bowler was gonna die that was kind of his thought process which you can't really blame him but yeah at this point he's gonna go minions oh he's dead ggs ggs man there's your minions nice he does play the minions so we do look cool with the prediction at the end he had no other play but that's gonna be a ggs this deck's so strong i hate playing it but you know it's just too good in the meta to not show in this video i really can't emphasize it enough how excited i am that the bomber has gotten nerfed um but yeah i'm gonna be playing lava void you guys know i don't need to tell you this deck is going to be disgusting in the meta um i'm honestly just gonna ignore that goblin gang and probably go lava on the bridge because why not my starting hand is a little bit chopped but it doesn't really matter you know preferably oh i just lava into a honestly it doesn't matter because i can kill the wizard with the void <laughs> as stupid as this sounds i can kill the wizard i think with the void yeah okay perfect we can just clip it on the corner um this wizard is gonna get absolutely destroyed bats should die as well and you know what great start to the game i literally went lava hounds into a into a wizard and it worked out for me wait he's playing princess tower i just realized um what do you guys think about the princess tower being back in the meta i think princess tower is gonna be decent but realistically i still think dagger duchess is just too good to not use um i am very under leveled with this lava deck so maybe i'll actually lose this game hopefully not but uh, i think dagger duchess is gonna get another nerf in the next balance that's just a hot take but yeah lava lava void i mean you guys know this energy the, these two cards together are like bro they're like peanut butter and jelly they're like uh what are some great combinations in life i'm trying to think now i can't i can't think of any on the spot okay he's gonna go skelly drag since i cycled my valk i didn't know he was playing pigs because probably because i'm not paying any attention wow that is very aggressive sir um, I'm just gonna go balloon on zero and then see what he's got. Okay, this guy's like actually destroying me. I need to go arrows on zero to kill the bats. Um, yeah, let's just arrows this. I know it's aggressive, but I have to try and get some kind of damage, I think. Please get to tower balloon. I need you to do that, sir. Yes, okay, one hit, one hit. We'll take that. Maybe two. Oh, if he had dagger duchess and was out of ammo, I could have gotten two, but you know, that there is some definitely some um, advantages to the princess tower, I will say. I'm just gonna let that die out. Dagger duchess should only take two hits from that wizard. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Evo wizard OP, by the way. Um, actually, void still kills it for three elixir, which is crazy, but. Okay, I'm just going to have my Evo Skellies ready for his, um, whatever it's called, Royal Hogs. I'm just going to get the Lava Hound down now. He's probably going to go all in here. I've got the Skellies and the Valk if I need them. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go Skellies early. It's going to catch his Knights. Oh, nice! And his Goblin Gang. Okay, I'm going to have to go Valk since he does log. Fine with me. Um, pretty smart log by him, but he spent a lot of Elixir, sir. Okay, I'm going to go for the... Ooh, he's got Wizard Bats. All right, I'm going to Mega Minion first. Probably should have Skelly Drag, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm waiting for that Wizard. That's what I'm waiting for. Can I clip it? I think I can. Void should take that out before it uh, does too much. I can just go for the balloon as well. This is really good. Great situation to be in. I'm just going to arrow this Goblin Gang as well. He does Fireball on defense. Okay. Um, and now he's got bats, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, he has, he has bats back in cycle. Does the Valkyrie evolution kill the bats? I actually am not sure. Um... I don't know. I, that would be kind of cool if it did, though, I'll be honest. It'd definitely make it somewhat viable um, against Swarm decks. I'm probably going to go Lava the Bridge. Uh, oh, what is that? He just... Whoa, he just lost. Wait, he actually just lost. Um, 
He's gonna go pigs, obviously. Okay, he's trying to tower trade me, but I think I can defend this, right? If I go Mega Minion, he does mini Pekka with this, which I did not expect, to be honest. But I can go Skellies down low. Wizard is distracted, then I'm just gonna Void on defense. Yes, sir, Void on defense is gonna bail me out. Once again, guys, this card, I mean, Void is disgusting, I'm gonna be honest. With the right deck, there's pretty much nothing that people can do. I'm just gonna arrow these bats, yeah, nothing you can do. Only one second left. That was an okay matchup. Kind of a weird one with the Void and the Royal Hogs Wizard, but yeah, no, we'll take that. Very good deck right there. Okay, we got a match against the king here. Let's see. I've got a hog rider deck. I think hog rider could be back in the meta, guys. Um, he, oh, this guy's got princess tower too. So yeah, definitely could be back in the meta, especially if people are using princess tower. Um, the reason I say that is because the wizard pairs really good with it, and also the void pairs pretty good with it. Be able, like, you're able to delete buildings. And I don't think that hog. Oh, he's got sparky. I don't think that hog um, cycle necessarily is going to be that great. But I think that a deck like this with the giant skeleton the tank okay really good value wait i can log this too he has only has princess tower so that's gonna be perfect oh my gosh the value on that log was absolutely satisfying um okay we're just gonna go i'm actually gonna go hog and then go for the goblins and that should pretty much be like bggs i don't know what he has for this he doesn't have skarmy or sparky in cycle or mini pekka um He's got a lot of hog counters, but it doesn't really matter that much. We only get one hit. Imagine if I would have went Ice Spear behind that right there. I probably could have won the game. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, the Tesla did get changed as well, um, but it, it's still really good, guys. I think that the Double Shock is definitely good for Expo decks. Um, I think I, I think Ice was in the meta, guys. I'm just going to say it right now. You know, I, <laughs> I'm not going to play Expo too frequently right now since it is the beginning of the season. Um, but I think it's going to be a good meta for me overall. That's all I got to say. I'm just going to avoid... Oh, did I misclick that? Yeah, I did. I'm so bad, bro. I'm so bad. Why? I click it so far uh i thought i could click the sparky that quickly and i just kind of bought it right there can i keep this wizard alive that is the question i'm gonna log this back hopefully the sparky dies no it is one hp dang it okay okay it's fine uh wizards oh my <laughs> what wizard <laughs> just explodes everything no way it survives i thought it was going to survive that and kill the wizard i was about to just walk out of the video right now and call this the best card ever created okay let's just go hog and then ice spear for his bats and that should be ggs please play bats nice he plays the bats not the skarmy should i pre-void him nah i think he's gonna skarmy i don't think a void even kills the skarmy so that'd be kind of a dumb play um but maybe i can use a void to predict like a mini pekka or a sparky or something but i'm just gonna go goblins the bridge force out something else from him and yeah we are so we are flying right now i feel really good um just beating everyone in in last right now but i guess i am pretty low so it is kind of easy but i'm just gonna cycle my log on tower and yeah tesla in the middle once again i definitely want to try out some new wizard decks for sure in the meta i'm just gonna pre-void i'm too i'm too uh impatient okay I, I shouldn't have clicked on the tower that was kind of dumb on my hands i'm not gonna lie pretty much a waste of three elixir all right don't play the void like that guys that is how not to play the void you know i had to show you how to play the void and how not to you know in this video i couldn't just show you how to how to uh, do it correctly you know you got to do gotta do it wrong before you can do it right um to be honest though i haven't really played much void at all okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna go evo tesla up high it's gonna be a big shock oh my lord um and i'm not making an aragon noise but bro that was disgusting okay <laughs> um i'm gonna go giant skeleton in front of this wizard yes perfect timing he does go sparky in the back i could void um actually i'm gonna wait he's gonna mini pekka right now i should have done it early hunter oh you're so bad um do you ever just talk to yourself when you're playing like i get mad at myself so much when i'm playing i like make little tiny mistakes that i know are gonna happen but i still um don't predict things that's when i get mad okay i'm gonna go hog and then that wizard should explode to scar me if he does do it right please maybe okay maybe not that was kind of a interesting interaction wait wizard's still on tower though this card is disgusting guys i can't even lie it is so good um the shield does not die to arrows anymore like oh my goodness it's gonna be like really 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 popular and competitive i think um as well as on ladder i think a decent amount of people will actually use the wizard so we're gonna see a wizard meta let's go guys i'm gonna avoid the sparky just try and take that off the map as quick as possible um he's gonna giant other lane very interesting interesting decision making from the king here we'll just go tesla goblins protect my other tesla keep it alive you know even though the evil tesla has less hp um the normal tesla still has the same amount so i can just go for a hog rider and then log ice spear for the bats oh my gosh i'm floating right now i feel so good um you know this is a good matchup too even though he has sparky you would think sparky counters the hog rider decks pretty well when you don't have a big spell but void is like the ultimate big spell um so just gonna go giant skeleton evil wizard the bridge that's such a deadly combination actually if you think about it he might kite yeah he's gonna kite with the giant but it doesn't really matter too much i'm gonna go hog on zero trust me because um, my wizard's gonna kill the musketeer and then I can log his Skarmy. Is that game? Okay, I don't hit the Skarmy. I hit the mini P.E.K.K.A. Um... Can Void kill that? I don't actually know. I'm just going to cycle a Void though right now to see. I think it would kill it, right? If he doesn't block it. Okay, yeah, it would have killed it, but he does block it. We'll just go for a Hog Rider in the middle and log once again. This deck is very, very good. So good defensively. Um, nothing, nothing this guy could even do. Sparky, man, rip Sparky 2024. It is a dead card. I'll be honest with you. Last but definitely not least, I think Giant is going to run this meta. If I'm completely real with you guys, I had to show a Giant spam kind of deck. Um, this deck is going to be very good. I know a lot of people are already using it on ladder and stuff. Um, you got the Void. You've got the Fisherman. Fisherman is a very, very, very good card in this game. I think Fisherman is probably a top, like, 
Dude, I, I don't know, man. I would say Fisherman is probably the best um, support card with decks like Giant and RG in the entire game because it's just so reliable. It feels like it never, it's like always getting value in a majority of matchups, except for maybe like Lava Helm. But besides, uh, aside from that, it's pretty much perfect um, in a deck with Giant or RG. So that's kind of a decent uh, Void Arrows right there. I actually don't even know why I did that interaction. That's probably a bad play. But if you think about it, honestly, I killed the majority of them. Um, also, 3M the bridge is crazy in single elixir, only 50 seconds in. I don't know what he was expecting, but, you know, not too bad, not too bad. 3M is going to be a little bit interesting, especially if he does have the pump um, with this deck i'm probably just gonna giant the bridge okay okay i thought he might pump in the back that's why i was gonna giant the bridge but no he's gonna go for the bandit at the bridge okay maybe he is, does not have the elixir collector man can we talk about the elixir collector how it stays on the map for about the entire game like what's 86 seconds hello clash royale that is so long dude that's literally like over a fifth of the game for one collector oh my goodness sir what are you doing okay we're gonna arrows all that um not too sure about that play uh, i'm not gonna lie to you i think he might have just lost but oh he knows it he knows it too he just spent so much elixir on like like what is that push right there um let's just go for the giant the bridge wait for him to play something he's gonna void oh you are dead you are dead we're just gonna knight um fisherman's gonna grab the archers please pull it in don't die don't die archer dps is crazy though you guys see it right there uh, when they are in their long distance range whatever you want to call it they are crazy yeah evil skellies is gonna cook him here even if he has a spell which i'm not even sure if he does i can just go night Witch. okay good ice golem by him but it's not going to save him his tower is absolutely gone sir and yeah I, as you guys saw right there um the archers put in a load of dps in a short amount of time but you have to play them perfectly now because they're going to die to arrows really quickly and spells really quickly you're going to have to get your value out of them while you can um so i'm just going to fish him and giant the bridge hopefully he gives up and lets me three crowd him but we'll have to see looks like this guy's a fighter he doesn't want to quit <laughs> so i'll just go for the arrows right here and then he's going to knight i'll just void his knight off the map okay he's going to void my giants dang it man just let me win please it's over it's over i'm sorry i don't want to crush your dreams but it is over um he's probably gonna go pigs now i guess i'll just <sighs> all right fine i'll defend i'll defend uh we'll go for the phoenix right here and then he's gonna pigs in a second i can just pull everything back go for the night witch on top of these piggies and then go for the knight in front of that and yeah perfect defense here um he's gonna void as well worst void of 2024 even though I am a little underleveled, these games are still pretty easy. He's going to say good game now. I think he will give up. I'll just go Giant in the pocket, then Fisherman to uh, hopefully 3 crown this guy. But yeah, as you guys saw, these decks are pretty good in the meta. Giant's going to be the number one card in the meta, like number one meta deck. I'll be honest, Lava Hound will probably be up there too. But yeah, GG's to everyone that I played today. Oh, he's not even going to give up. He's going to keep his dignity with the three Musketeers. You know, I respect that you do you, man. Um, if that makes you feel good, then <laughs> I'm happy for you. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and enjoy the, these balance changes, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Enjoy the butch clip. Peace.